Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to read Why Should I Protect Nature? And it's illustrated by Mike Gordon. This is a little different than the books we usually read together. This one's a, a non-fiction book. That means it's about real things. And it says it's written by Jen Green and illustrated by Mike Gordon. Nature is a big, wild world all around us, from giant oak trees to little acorns and wiggling worms. The birds chirping in the trees are part of nature. So is the salty smell of the sea. Splashing in rain puddles and the soft fur on a donkey's nose. I used to find nature boring. Yawn. Or pesky, shoo, he's shooing the fly away. Or creepy, yuck. But then our class went on a trip. On our trip, we went to the sea and looked in tide pools. It was great. On the way home, we had a picnic in the park. I think they're seeing a little squirrel. And this boy found an acorn. Everyone got a bit rowdy. Craig and Marina broke some branches. I threw my soda can. John picked some flowers. And Sally tried to swat a bee. Our teacher, Miss Wade, said we should protect nature, not hurt it. And this little boy says, why should I protect nature? She asked, what do you think would happen if everyone broke off branches? And that little boy says, we couldn't climb trees. And he's right, you couldn't climb trees if everyone broke off branches. There'd be no branches on the trees. The trees would have no leaves left and they couldn't grow properly. Birds couldn't nest in their branches. <laughs> There's all the birds saying, save our trees. And guess what would happen if we all picked flowers and swatted bees? There would be no flowers left, and we'd have no honey for breakfast. Well, and the bees would have no honey, right? Because the bees use the honey. And what would happen if we all dropped litter whenever we liked? The countryside would be knee-deep in paper, plastic, and tin cans. Ooh, that's pretty messy, isn't it? Birds and other animals could choke or get trapped in litter and die. We don't want to hurt the animals, do we? No trees, no flowers, no honey, no animals. That would be terrible. So how can we help nature instead? Instead of picking flowers, we could plant flowers in a corner of the garden. Butterflies and bees love flowers, so they'll visit too. We could plant a tree instead of breaking branches. Cleaning up litter keeps nature looking lovely and helps animals and birds. Now we have fun protecting nature. After all, people are part of nature, too. Oops, did I miss a page? So that is a great book because it tells us all about how to protect nature and why we should do that. And that'll keep everything looking lovely and help us to have a beautiful earth. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. Bye-bye.